Always a contender in the economy car class, this little hatch has seen little change in 2011. Hi, I'm Miranda Lightstone with WatchMojo.com and this is the 2011 Nissan Versa SL. Inside, the Nissan Versa is kind of as small as it looks like it would be from the outside. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, this is an economy car and it's meant to be smaller on the road. And even though it is quite small inside, there's still quite a bit of room in the back and in the trunk. For the 2011 model, Nissan decided to upgrade the interior of the Versa just a little bit. Now in the past, it hasn't really offered anything in way of luxury, but now, in this particular model, which is the SL, I have the optional touchscreen navigation package, which also gives me XM radio and auxiliary hookup for my iPod. And Nissan has also added these nifty little faux wood touches to the dash and the armrest, and padded siding on the door and much plushier seats. Now, of course, this isn't in the level of BMW or Porsche, but for a Nissan Versa, this makes the interior much more luxurious and kind of sophisticated. Now, I can't say I get terribly excited about driving the Nissan Versa. The 1.6 liter four cylinder engine only pushes out 122 horsepower and 127 pound foot of torque. Not very powerful. And the CVT, the continuous variable transmission, is actually really annoying. Basically, it's one gear that never shifts. So if you give it any gas, it's just gonna drone on and on. And if you're used to gears and you're used to your car shifting, it's quite aggravating to listen to, but it's an option. You can choose to pay extra for the CVT, which will save you on gas, but annoy you while you're driving, or you can just have a regular four-speed automatic or a five-speed manual. While Nissan might want to consider a redesign for 2012, it doesn't need to overhaul the Versa completely. What it has here is a stylish, affordable, and practical little car that other manufacturers are still trying to achieve. 